Hey guys, welcome back. Finally, after a long wait, Lineage OS team announced Lineage OS 15.1 based on Android Oreo 8.1. Currently, only few devices like Google Nexus 5X, 6P, OnePlus 3, 3T, 5, 5T, Tab S2, 8.0 and 9.7, Xiaomi Mi 5, Mi 5 S, Mi 5 S Plus and La Echo La Pro 3 are supported. These are experimental builds but these rooms are nearly stable. I have installed this ROM on my OnePlus 5T and everything has been stable so far. In my 36 hours of usage, I did not face any lag or app crashes. Installation process is just like all other custom ROMs but do note that unofficial OpenGApps package is not currently working with official Lineage OS 15.1 builds. The problem lies with the incompatible setup wizard APK. You can simply delete the setup wizard APK with the TWRP file manager before first boot or you can flash the MindDG apps package. The ROM is not pre-rooted but you can root and install expose easily. You can find the download links for the routing and expose in the description below. If you are currently running an official build of Lineage OS 14.1, download the ROM, G apps and the root package, transfer them to the phone, boot to the TWRP, wipe the system partition and flash the ROM and G apps package. If you are running an unofficial build of Lineage OS 14.1 or any other ROM based on AOSP or Lineage OS, then in addition to the above steps, you also need to wipe the data partition before flashing. Another caution guys, if you are on Oxygen OS and trying to flash Lineage OS for the first time, make sure you remove all the screen lock before trying anything else. Getting back to the ROM itself, the boot animation is the same one like that of Lineage OS 14.1, same lock screen and this is the stock launcher. We do have a different look for stock launcher now which is Trebuchet launcher version 8.1.0. Oh, the main differentiator thing over Lineage OS 14.1 is the icons. Now we have rounded icons. Swipe up on home screen will take to the app drawer. Long press on the home page will get to the launcher settings. You have wallpapers, widgets and you have lots of customization for home screen now. You have an option to edit home screen icon names, icon type, you can set the orientation of the launcher, their swipe down to notification feature but sadly it's not working for me. You can enable or disable Google feed integration on the left side of the home screen, you can change icon shape and you have notification dots and this is the app drawer and there is nothing special about it. Moving on to Lineage OS apps, you have audio effects to customize audio output via speakers and via headphones. We have dialer, contacts, messaging, browser, clock, calendar and these are all same apps with new icons. There's file manager which also look like stock file manager and 11 music player. You also have a recorder app which can record screen and also record audio. The most significant change is with respect to snap camera. It has new UI now, you have beauty mode, portrait mode, as usual you have HDR, pro mode, bokeh mode and other modes. This camera app is good but not as good as default oxygen OS camera. It's not the fastest but it is stable. Coming to other features, you can change storage to SD card from phone and vice versa. You have continuous shot, 4K video recording with EIS, you have multiple codecs support, HEVC for video is also there. You have time lapse mode and the camera app version is 2.0.0.2. The ROM supports Vivo LTE out of the box and working perfectly with Reliance Geo SIM card. Other OS features include extra customizations via display settings, you have night light, live display, you can change color style from dark to light, you have multiple accent colors and you can set style change according to the wallpaper also. Double tap to wake is working and also the ambient light is working perfectly. Under sound settings, now you can link ring and notification volumes. There is no face unlock. You can still use face unlock via smart lock feature and auto input. It's not that effective as the default Oxygen OS face unlock, but it is still good and unlocks the phone in about 1 to 2 seconds. Under system tab, we have few customizations. 
First we have the basic input setting and next is the buttons menu. You can change the navigation button layout and set customized actions for recent menu or volume buttons. You can end call by pressing power button. You can long press the power button for torch and this is the new feature. Your phone screen need to be turned off for this feature to work. You can also swap volume buttons when the screen is rotated and under additional buttons you can swap recent and back buttons and you can also change actions for notification slider. Under system profiles you can either pick automobile default or silent mode and you can also customize these profiles further and add a new one under status bar you have quick pull down right edge of the status bar pulls quick settings you can switch on or off data traffic monitor you can enable or disable system icons on the status bar under brightness you have adjust brightness from quick settings auto brightness and also brightness control by sliding across the status bar Moving on to gestures, you can double press the power button to jump to the camera, swipe fingerprint for notification and few touch screen gestures. You have multiple swipe actions based on finger input, you can draw a letter to play or pause music, open camera and other stuff. Also you can enable or disable haptic feedback and rest is all normal stuff. And under about phone we have model number which is oneplus 5t, android version which is oreo 8.1.0 and lineage os version february 25th build. Coming to the benchmarks, Antutu 2 version 7 score is 2 lakhs 2460, Geekbench got a score of 1954 with single core and 6797 with multi core. <laughs> Nina Mark 2 score is 60.1 frames per second. The ROM has been pretty stable, there are no app crashes or lags and the battery life is also good. I got about 4 hours 47 minutes screen on time with 85% of battery usage and it's been 1 day 7 hours and 33 minutes since my last charge. The ROM fits as a diary driver and you can definitely try this ROM on your phone. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you liked it, hit like and subscribe if you did, bye bye and see you soon.